San Diego kid was still yet to win a game. San Diego, the worst football team in the history. The Cavers have lost 63 to zero. How? 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 How can you be that bad? How? The Cavers have lost 30 to zero. The Cavers have lost 20 to six. That is absolutely embarrassing. San Diego High School has been home to a football team that for the last couple of years has had losing records. The team was in need of rebuild and desperate for change. The team has always been hungry for success and has had the support of the students and staff, but it was only a matter of time before they turned over a new leaf into the new beginning of undefeated champions. This year is going well because uh, we were working hard in practice and we, come, we came together as a team and uh, we left the old losing tradition in the past and we're trying to build something new. New mindset and even new coaches as they made historic moves by acquiring the first woman head coach, although still going 2-8. to eight, was a spark of change that they needed that would carry over into the next season. A historic first for San Diego, a woman as head football coach. Today was her second day on the job. New at five. It was a step of rebuilding towards the future, and under the guidance of Coach James, who has years of experience, only one thing was in mind, to win. Coach James affected us in a good way. He he was an uprising to San Diego High. As you, if you noticed, ever since he's been here, all he's done is uh, bring good uh, things to the football team. Not only like winning and everything, he's brought us like he's not just a coach to us. He's more he wants to see us succeed off the field just as much as he does on the field. As far as the fans, the student body, the administration, the kids, and everything. So I think winning seasons are here to come. A Sweet 16 fan vote. Uh, option, Mr. Thomas Marcus from San Diego High. How about a round of applause? With us? And with the additions to the team, such as acquiring Thomas Marcus, who is now up for the Silver Pigskin Award, everything was in place for a new and improved team to reign undefeated. You know I'm back, like I never left. I never left. Another sprint, another step, another step, another day. Another breath, another breath. Been chasing dreams, but I never slept. I never slept. I got a new attitude that'll lease on life as a piece of mind. Seeking to find, I can sleep when I die. Want a piece of the pie, got the keys to the ride and shit. I'm straight. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Get on my way. I'm running late. What can I say? I heard you die twice. Once when I bury you in the grave. And the second time is the last time that somebody mentions your name. So when I leave here on this earth, did I take more than I gave? Come on out, 
all the kids, have some fun. Um, enjoy this season. Everybody get on this, on this roller coaster, man. Enjoy this ride. It doesn't come it took 60 yards, it took 60 years to get to this point again. So I want everybody to enjoy it. We were closer as a team. We were more of a family this year. Um, I feel like we hung out with each other on and off the field, and that helped us build chemistry.